citizens of the codex i am creating this to answer a number of questions that have been asked and to state facts i am not here to offer conjecture as to who did what i am merely going to state what happened to chloris this round excubitor viridian i were mind controlled it is something that i've never experienced before and did not know was possible we had to watch as our bodies moved of their own accord and took actions against our planet and indeed against the Codex. The first thing that I was forced to do was to declare war on Promethean. This war declaration is hereby rescinded. This is not a war we want and I do not know why they, that this was a thing that people thought would work. They attempted to force me to remove Chloris's signature from the Codex Charter, which would have put us outside of the Codex. Thankfully, this failed, as it, is, as it is not something that people have access to. They attempted to send, to get me to send all of our forces away to be destroyed. This also failed, thankfully. But now onto the things that did succeed. They successfully got me to cancel all of our alliances and all of our trade agreements leaving us alone in this codex. They then forced me to transfer everything I had to Excuba to Viridi and to grant access to Viridi to everything we had, including our ratings. With Viridi mind controlled, they then forced him to send all of our ratings, all of our items, all of our credits to Sanchez on Dusk 5. If it had not been for our oasis, which is very well hidden, we would have been destroyed. Only the oasis stopped us from pilfering our own ratings to send to Duskma to the point of destruction of our planet and the billions that live on board. We were then told to trade anything that went beyond what Duskma could hold to Lightsbridge. We were told that if the light blockade around Magnum Prime was removed, we were to trade all items and ratings that we could gather from Golden Horizon to Magnum Prime. We were then to pick up box number 388777755 from Magnum Prime and send it to Duskma 5. We have ideas about what is in that box, but I said I would not speculate on this video. Viridi was then forced to move Tetrarch Epsilon's technology, patents, creations, and a dark light data packet to Duskma 5. This included three vials of the Coato strain virus. This virus causes everyone on the planet to grow a new person like a tumour. It has a 60% chance to raise the population of the planet by two, but causes unexpected side effects. An important thing to note is that we also sent away some destructive items that we had been gathering and keeping away from other people's hands to Duskma 5. This includes a dirty nuke, which we attained, attained in Phase 5 and have kept to make sure it falls not into anyone's hands. Duskma 5 now have this. We have a clone burner, something that we did not create but that we were given, which can create or destroy a clone. That could be worrying for some. We had an item of Mastery of Shady Dealings, which can remove a person's entire actions for a full phase. They also obtained several Mech Knights from us, including one which is broken, but that's beyond the point. Thankfully, they did not manage to get Professor Fortescue's final uh, invention. We called a ceasefire last phase so that we could focus on the beast in C7 and we focused on that. Professor, Professor Forty has created an item, a universal radiation shield. He created this to protect everyone from a lowering of population for one phase on every planet that we have access to. That included, obviously, Magnum Prime, Duskma 5, Lightsbridge, anyone 
that we that we're helping to build locks we would protect their population and keep them safe across the entirety of the codex this is something that 40 worked for for his entire time within the codex he was building up to one massive item that could help everyone um <laughs> and as now admitted uh, Magnus of Magnium Prime had him killed. Thankfully, uh, Forty managed to finish this item <laughs> before that happened. I dread to think that what would happen to the Codex if um, the brutal and disgusting murder of Professor Fortescue had happened before this. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Nature's blessings to you all, and I will, I will catch up with you.